The whole of human history is full of secrets and mysteries. In fact, even now, in the age of science and technology, our whole world order is causing thousands of questions, many of which cannot be fully answered by scientists. The Time Puzzle crew tries to uncover some of those mysteries surrounding the mysterious places of Kazakhstan. The mosque of Shaken City is a unique example of architecture combining elements of a classic Chinese pagoda and Eastern temple. This is perhaps one of the last masterpieces of the style that disappeared in the darkness of the past along with its secrets. The film crew of the program Time Puzzle tries to find out who Jacquin's mosque owes its unusual shape and how it has affected its internal content. In today's episode, the most extraordinary building of Jharkhand. The Mosque of Jharkhand is such an interesting phenomenon in the architecture of Central Asia of the 19th century. There are lots of unusual things. These lanterns, carved, hand-painted Chinese lanterns that hang from the ceiling. They, of course, break this perception of a real Muslim mosque. The history of a border town. Here on this photo, the street of Jharkhand, it was taken in 1913. Unique technology of mysterious masters. The foundation of the mosque is brick, unique in its composition. Sand, fish oil and horse hair were used for its production. Despite this, it stood for over a hundred years. Watch now, Secrets of the Jharkhand Mosque in the Time Puzzle. The Time Puzzle crew goes to town of Jharkhand, where we have to reveal the history of a very unusual wooden mosque. Jharkhand, a small town located almost on the border of Kazakhstan and People's Republic of China. The regional center of Panfilov district, which has nestled on the flat part of Jungarala town. Despite its status, it is a classic example of a one story provincial town attracting tourists with the nearby trade centers Korgos and two attractions located right on the entrance to the city a sacred tree, Kiele Agash, and unusual mosque, the history of which we are going to explore today. And that's just the style of Jharkhand of mosque. That's how I assess it myself. It is such an unexpected, which had not managed to harmonize the connection of different elements related to different civilizations. Two heterogeneous styles were used, which were opposite to each other. Yes, and they were contradicted not just some aesthetic direction, but opposite according to religions of the people who ordered buildings of these mosques, the construction of the mosques. So I think that in present days, the construction of such mosques is simply impossible. in 1886, and before that, there were two congress about how to build and where to build. It Jharkhand, see, because it is a border, the middle, because we communicate with the Chinese people, we had an open road then to Kogos, the culture of communication. The city, which appeared on the border of two mighty empires, which continued the century-old trade traditions of the Silk Road, attracted a huge number of people. The life in the town of Jharkhand was so vibrant and humming, there was even a photo studio in the town, which was a rarity in the county town at that time. My great-grandfather, Alexander Polikarpovich, after he has been studying photography for two years, went back to Jharkhand and started the activities of the photographer, opened a photo studio. Here in this photograph, he is in his studio in Jharkhand. And the fact that this photo existed is recorded in the Russian album. 
which says there was a photo studio of Alexander Polikarpovich Maratkanov in the town of Jarkent. He studied photography. He traveled so much in Jarkent, Jarkent surroundings in that period of time. Here on this photo, the street of Jarkent, made in 1913. Now Jarkent holds a territory of 48 square kilometers. About 43,000 people live here. He was founded in 1881 by a Russian army general Kropotkin on the site of the old settlements. Since the beginning of its existence, it was called Yarkent, a city in Yar, or in Kazakh, Jar Cliff, and Kent Town. In 1942, the city was named after the legendary General Panfilov, and in 1991 restored the historical name Jarkent. About the mosque. Well, I passed by it for many times, but since we were all raised by atheists, we never ask stupid questions what is it and why is it here? I didn't know anything about it except that it is a very beautiful building with beautiful roofs up to the certain times. Jarkent Mosque is an architectural jewel adorning the city almost throughout its history. Incredible building was inspired and amazed everyone who saw it. One of these people was the great Kazakh artist Abul Khan Kastev. In 1919, Abul Khan Kastev came to Jarkent with his stepfather to sell some grain. It was the first time when he saw a big town after living in countryside. And it was such a culture shock for him. It was a significant event. He was only 15 years old and his impressions of that year stayed with him for his entire life. And he was struck by the streets of the city the buildings which he saw for the first time. And the buildings of the local mosque also didn't leave him indifferent. Coming up next, a unique finding in the museum. The date of its creation is 1945. It depicts the exterior of the mosque, which was already very familiar to Abul Khan Kastev. What fascinates and inspires in this monument? On ordinary days, visitors walk to the mosque through the side portals, but for exception was made for our crew. Come on. Amazing and shocking features of the decor of the Muslim temple. These lanterns, carved hand-painted Chinese lanterns that hang from the ceiling. They, of course, break this perception of a real Muslim mosque. Watch and don't miss it. Secrets of the Jarkent Mosque in the Time Puzzle. Abul Khan Kastev was born on January the 14th, 1904, in the village of Shezhin, near Jarkent. Subsequently, he became one of the founders of Kazakh painting art. Now, State Museum of Arts in Almaty is named after Abul Khan Kastev. Later in the vaults, we have discovered a watercolor wizard depicting Jarkent mask made by the artist in 1945. This is a small piece of art which is kept in the collection of the State Museum of Arts named after Abul Khan Kastev, called Uyghur Mosque. It was created in 1945. It depicts the image, the exterior of the mosque, which was already familiar to Abul Khan Kastev. It was the showplace of this town. The Abul Khan Kastev depicts it as an artist. It is important for him to convey the appearance, the artistic features of the building to fit it into the landscape. 
it should be noted that in the works of Soviet artists, fiction wasn't allowed. And Abulkan Kastev always was very accurate. I mean that his works can be considered documental evidences of his time. That's why we can be pretty sure that the mask really looked like this, and all the smallest details are shown very accurate. However, this picture is just a silent witness to the unusual beauty of the building, which is incapable to unveil the mystery associated to construction process. Risalat Karimova, PhD professor, head of Uyghur department at the Oriental Studies Institute, and she is being our guide to this story. I first became interested in the history of Sharkand Mosque when I was writing my PhD thesis, and I was interested in working with woodcarvers who were restoring the mosque. And later, when I was writing a doctoral thesis, I studied architecture, I learned architectural construction of this mosque. Yeah. Jacquant Mosque is such an interesting phenomenon in the architecture of Central Asia of the 19th century. There are so many unusual things, unusual combination of Muslim and Chinese styles. Мешит Жаркент қаласы құрылған елге қоныстанғаннан кейін, яғни After Jaarkent was inhabited with Kazakhs, Dungans, Uyghurs, that is Muslims, people realized the necessity to build a mosque. Ислам нұрындағы адамдар жолындағы адамдарға мешит керек болды. Мешит at first, they held a Kuraltai in 1982, and then, after the Kuraltai, they decided to build a mosque. Probably emigrants, Muslim from China, who were homesick, wanted this building to remind them about their homeland. The mosque is made in Muslim Chinese or Chinese Muslim style. I'd rather call it Muslim Chinese, in my opinion, it will be more appropriate, because this style appeared in Muslim country as the result of the mix of Muslim and East Turkestan architectural style. The central gate, Jarkent Mosque, is made in a classical style of Islamic architecture. Now it is open only on great holidays, Eid and Eid Alight, Nowruz and birthday of the Prophet Muhammad. On ordinary days, visitors enter the mosque through this side portal, but for exception, was made for our crew. Come on! Floral pattern is present in the design of the portal. And those flowers resemble peonies, that's why it can again be attributed to Chinese patterns. Although there is calligraphic Arabic inscriptions are on the top. Therefore, synthesis is present in everything. In the interiors of the mosque, in the exterior and in the portals. Historical data of the unusually decorated mosque of the town of Jarkent can be found in the work of the famous Russian and Soviet Orientalist, academician Vasily Bartold, report on a trip to Central Asia with scientific purpose in 1893-1894 years. In 1891, after finishing the Faculty of Oriental Languages of Peterburg University, he went to one of his travels to Central Asia. The scientific essay will become the outcome of the trip. That's what Bartold writes. The interior of the temple doesn't match the interior of a usual mosque. It is more like an interior of Christian churches. The mirab, similar to the altar, is opposite to the entrance, which is connected by two rows of columns. The choirs are located on both sides. The stairs lead to them.
The interior of the mosque is divided into two tiers. It could accommodate up to 8,000 people. Men's prayer hall is on the ground floor and the second floor is intended for women. These classic Chinese lanterns are very unusual decoration for the interior of the mosque. This is more typical of Buddhist pagodas than to the traditional Islamic mosques. Chinese lanterns. Here too, if you imagine, just imagine three walls. They are decorated with quite traditional carved ganj and filled with arabesque stylized in Eastern Muslim pattern. But these lanterns, carved, hand-painted Chinese lanterns that hang from the ceiling, they of course break the perception of a real Muslim mosque. What fate was designed for the unique building by Soviet system? The mosque existed for no special reason for many years. Communist Party forbade us to profess Islam and we were unbelievers, we were atheists for 70 years. So what was here? Will it be possible for the time puzzle to find the archival documents? I addressed the archives of the Museum of the Mosque. I was told that all the funds had been transferred to some sort of school. All the photos, all the materials are gone in an unknown direction. I haven't been able to find anything. Secrets of Chinese architect. The wood that was delivered here, of course, it is unique. First, it is very old wood, and this mosque too, and this building is still intact. The construction of the building is rigid. Secrets of the Jacquant Mosque in the Time Puzzle. The unique temple has not escaped the fate of all the religious buildings in the Soviet Union. After its closure in the 20s of the last century, the mosque was a cinema, hostel and even a vegetable store. Only in the late 40s was conducted first in-depth study in which this outstanding architectural monument was taken under state protection. In 1969, studying of features of construction and decoration carried out, the result was the decision to create an unusual museum, architectural artistic complex Jacquant Mosque. Now it is a monument of history and culture of Kazakhstan of national importance. The current Museum of Architectural Artistic Complex, Jacquant Mosque, which is headed by Sharip Kanto Ganov for the past 22 years. The mosque existed for no special reason for many years. Communist Party forbade us to profess Islam and we were unbelievers. We were atheists for 70 years. So what was here? Just a corn house, then a cinema and later the border guards lived here. In 1978 it was considered Jarkent Museum of Art and Architecture. The unusual form of the building, its eclectic design and a difficult fate is only the first stage of the amazing maze of secrets related to Jacquant's mosque. We know that the mosque is almost the same age as Jacquant, but we still haven't found the information about when and how it was built. Here is what a short extract from the archives of the town of Jacquant. Preparation for the construction of the mosque began in 1883 and in 1884 started the logging. However, the year of construction of the mosque in this document is 1888, which, as shown by our further investigation, is a mistake. After all, eyewitness accounts and historians indicate that the mosque was built almost 10 years later. I addressed the archives of the Museum of the Mosque. I was told that all the funds had been transferred to some sort of school. All the photos, all the materials are gone in an unknown direction. I haven't been able to find anything. Mosque in Jarkent was built in 1890s. A more precise date of construction is probably 1898. But unfortunately, there is no a certain specific date in the archival documents. 
By the way, about the archival documents that relate to this mosque, generally I get the impression that the Republican archives in Kazakhstan contain only a small part of these documents, because there are so many detailed documents pertaining to much less interesting buildings. And yet the mosque, it is, I think, significant architectural object, and there must be more information about it. Collecting information bit by bit, he was able to find out some details of construction. The mosque is built on the principle of a foldable surface. Within four years, 75 carpenters under the direction of the chief architect carefully cut out the parts of the future building of specially processed tenshine spruce. The construction of the temple took, according to different sources, from one to two months. The constructors didn't use any staples or nails. The wood that was delivered here, of course, it is unique. First, it is very old wood in this mosque too, and this building is still intact. The construction of the building is rigid. The foundation of the mosque is brick, unique in its composition. Sand, fish oil and horsehair were used for its production. Despite this, it stood for over a hundred years. A few archives that we have found differ on the exact start and end dates of construction. But there are two important names associated with the construction of the mosque. The mosque in Jarkent was built by ordering for account of Semirechensk first guild merchant, millionaire philanthropist, Olga Richman Vali Akun Yoldashev. Therefore, the mosque is named after Vali Akun. Vali Akun Yoldashev already had the status of honorary citizen of the city of Jarkent, and he got official permission to build this mosque. One of the central personalities of this story is Vali Akun Yoldashev, major merchant, a merchant of the first guild. He was present personally at the coronation of the last Russian emperor, Nicholas II, and was awarded with high honors not only in Tsarist Russia, but also in China. He took the lead in organizing the construction of this mosque. The first thing Yoldashev had to do is to choose the architect whom the construction of this important object could be trusted to. People told, and I have read about the architect, the Chinese man built this building, Chinese architect. His name was Kon Pik. And people told that he was executed for the construction of this building. Later, when he came back to China, he was executed because of the beauty of this building. Merchant Vali Yildashev decided to build a fancy mosque. For this, he invited the Chinese architect named Kon Pig. Personality and the fate of the architect is one of the mysteries of this story. Watch in the next episode. What role was played in the construction of the mosque of Jarkent by merchant Vali Yildashev? The mosque in Jarkent was built by ordering for account of Semirechensk first guild merchant, millionaire philanthropist, Olga Richman Vali Akon Yildashev. Therefore, the mosque is named after Vali Akon. Searching for the lost archives. But what we wanted to know about Jarkent Mosque, about a carpenter who built the mosque, we requested this information for many times, but we didn't get any information. The semi-mythical personality of the architect Kon Pek and his terrible and mysterious fate. I think that, you know, if he was executed here, here it may cause an international scandal because he is still Chinese architect. Watch and don't miss it. Secrets of the Jacquant Mosque in the Time Puzzle.